हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो ईएसटी एजुकेशन फॉर सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट इन आवर लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज द ईएसटी एजुकेशन फॉर सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट एंड व्हाई इट इज एसेंशियल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग सम मोर डिटेल्स अबाउट गोल्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव्स एंड हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू अचीव दैट ओके सो लेट अस स्टार्ट टुडे so uh, this is one report and uh, this is building on the previous work on the education for sustainable development so that can be the uh, un decade of education for sustainable development so that was run between 2005 to 2014 then to take this forward the gap global action program was initiated for education for sustainable development and that was from 2015 to 2019 so after 2020 this esd framework for 2030 that has came forward so what is the goal so esd for 2030 aims to build a more just and sustainable world so whatever we are discussing here is so our goal is very clear that we have to make a just and sustainable world and how through uh, strengthening esd and contributing to the achievement of 17 sdgs or 17 sustainable development goals and our objective is we have to integrate this complete esd into the 17 sustainable development goals and that through the into uh, policies or learning environment or capacity building of educators the empowerment and mobilization of young people and local action level so through all these efforts through all these initiatives we have to achieve that and when we talk about sustainable development goals out of the 17 goals the fourth goal that is the quality education and in that the target 4.7 that you can see so that is education for sustainable development and global citizenship so this is very key the target 4.7 is one of the key target of the sdgs because this will have impact on all the 17 sdgs whether we are able to achieve it or not so by this target 4.7 we are ensuring that all learners acquire the knowledge and skills needed to promote sustainable development including among others so what they are the education for sustainable development of course then it includes sustainable lifestyle human rights gender equality promotion of culture of peace and non violence global citizenship and appreciation of cultural diversity because without diversity it is not possible right and this education for sustainable development will help us to achieve all these factors including the lifestyle so how we uh, let's say which kind of lifestyle we are having whether we are appreciating the human rights or not what are our thinking about gender equality so this will have bearing on all 17 sdgs as well so further in this report you can see the key features okay so for the esd so there are three key features so these are first is education's role for 17 sdgs and we know that education is one of the foundation on which all these 17 sdgs will be achieved second is focus on big transformation and third is emphasis on member states leadership so each country each nation will have some contribution to make to achieve this esd so let's talk about the first emphasis on education's role in 17 sdgs right so it has been in the united nations general assembly it has been year by year in every session it has been focused on how education is essential to achieve the sustainability so to quote few example here un general assembly resolution 72 means 72nd session that happened in 2017 and 222 that is the resolution number okay so this also noted that esd as an integral element of the sdg 4 on education and a key enabler of all other sdgs right and the resolution 74 so 74th session and 233rd resolution number which was in 2019 it is also said that reinforce this by calling upon the countries to enhance their esd implementation so every country should contribute in this education for sustainable development and how esd can enable the 17 sdgs so first is about the raising the awareness right second esd promotes critical and contextualized understanding of the sdgs because the sustainability the sdgs so these are not the terms that can be applied to everywhere in a same way it has to be understood in a very specific contextual manner otherwise it is 
it will it won't be the uh, properly applicable and it will not be the holistic right so that's why the critical understanding is very important and next is uh, esd mobilizes action so how we are mobilizing action towards this sdgs so that is the first thing right and in our previous video as well we have seen about the 17 sdgs but let's quickly understand the esd's role into the esd sdg <coughs> So first is cognitive learning dimension. So understanding the challenges, understanding the sustainability, complex interlinkages, and these all sustainable development goals. They are not standalone. They are not single. They are interrelated. They are dependent on each other. Second is social and emotional learning. <clears throat> so how we build up the core value, the attitude, the empathy, the compassion. That is really essential. Then third is behavioral learning dimension. This the Practical transformation, so that start from I, right? So from personal to society to political spheres or national level. So the behavior change, the social transformation, that takes some time. And how we achieve that? So that is the core at the ESD and SDG integration. So SDG, you can see these are the 17 goals starting from no poverty, the first goal, and up to the last goal, 17 goal is partnership for the goals, right? You can see. What is the role of the education for sustainable development and how we can achieve this sustainable development goals, SDGs, okay? So you can go ahead, you can delve deeper into this. Second <coughs> feature was focus on big transformation, right? So it has been very important that to how each learner understand or undertake the transformative actions about sustainability. How we appreciate the, the sustainability issues and how we change our behavior, how, we, how the structural changes are happening, how technological changes are happening. So that is uh, key to understand these transformations and which will be required to bring about these kind of transformations. Then third is emphasis on member, member states leadership because each state should have some contributions because without their contribution it is not possible to achieve these goals right so that's why it is very important that every nation will come with their inputs their uh, contributions to achieve this okay and in this report uh, shortly uh, a very good graphic is there with which we will get to know about what we can achieve and how we can achieve it okay so in 10 years time from 2020 to 2030 we are aiming to create the world in which the governments will mainstream esd into their education policies and frameworks to transform education because unless and until the education is changed we will not be able to achieve the results in long term right so government should put their efforts into the frameworks into the educational transformations then second is about learners in all walks of life across the world have opportunities to acquire the knowledge skill value and attitude that we have talked about in our next in our previous video as well then the people people living in cities and communities across the world they recognize the esd's role and how they can achieve right then educators so educators should be trained on this how they can contribute in this transformation and you so yes youth are the future of the world we can say so youth should be strengthened and they should work as a change agent so this is all we are going to achieve with this esd and in this report you can see the priority action areas as well so what member states need to uh, need to focus on so instead of discussing this in this text at the end there is one great resource okay and for each priority item they have given the toolbox okay so this is the toolbox if we click here you will reach to this unesco's toolbox for education for sustainable development okay so in this toolbox you can see i'm sorry in this website in this toolbox you can see this different priority action areas starting from first one that is advancing policy second transforming learning environment third building capacities of educators fourth is empowering and mobilizing youth and fifth is accelerating local level actions so with this five point action plan the priority action areas we can improve on the esd 
and they have also given the six areas of implementation so first is implementing esd country level harnessing partnership and collaboration communication for action tracking issues and trends mobilizing resources and monitoring progress so these are the six areas where we all need to work on so this is a toolkit and when you go deeper into it when you click there so you will get a lot of uh, material that you can use to contribute to help to get help regarding this esd okay and let's move ahead and we will just discuss in detail about uh, this so that we will get to know at the basics of what is it and how we can achieve it so in this report you can see uh, the every action item every uh, priority item that is being discussed in much more detail so at the end of this report so this is a great uh, a one page summary that you can get the esd for 2030 framework right so global action program as we had discussed it was from gap global action program from 2015 to 2019 and then we are having this esd from 2020 to 2030 and as we have already seen so what is the goal what is vision what are the strategic objectives what are the target groups so in one page all these points are given in very lucid manner so you can just by one view one page you will get to understand all these points so as we have seen these five uh, different areas so we are advancing policy to the community so how we can contribute and the six uh, support areas as well okay. so yes so in this second part we will stop here and in the third part we can discuss about the outcomes of this previous so gap and uh, the uh, previously what has been done in this ESD okay so first was uh, done in the gap and then the decade for education for sustainable development previous to that so that has been work that has been done so what was the outputs what was the learning from that we will discuss in next video so i hope this video has been helpful to you and if you like please give me a like please post your views in the comment and do subscribe to stay connected thank you